for all you procrastinators. You have exactly one week till Christmas. Hey, so this is a Farming Wife at Home video, aka video for the ladies. So if you watch this channel for the farm videos, watch at your own risk. I'm just saying this is designed for the ladies. You help him? Oh boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> you being honoring? He's just cheesing now. He's cheesing for the camera. Is that pencil good? Is that pencil good? Mmm. <laughs> good. I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's pretty fluffy. Getting fluffy? Sorry. <laughs> Gotta capture these memories. Okay. We're not really using a recipe for our um, frosting, so we're just gonna learn as we're we go. We're using Grandma's by memory recipe. <laughs> Those are always the best. Whoa! And then. Who does not love holiday baking? Oh my goodness! So basically, like a puppy chow with pencils and M&Ms and then the little peppermint candies. I think I have some leftover candy corn in there too. That's still Christmassy. We'll call it country. So good. So good. This is my phone. It was four cups. Was it? Okay. Here, sit down. There you go. Two easy meals. This first one is just chicken. I literally just put like three tablespoons of butter in this dish and put the whole pieces of chicken, just sat them in there because we were Christmas baking. And so um, sat them in there, covered them with rosemary and salt and pepper, and then just put tin foil over this and stuck it in the oven at 350 for a while. And then we bumped it up to 425 because we were hungry. <laughs> but excellent flavor especially with the rosemary salt and butter mix and that's honestly all it has in there and then uh just some sweet corn from this last summer it was a very the good second mix. dish excuse the mess here but it's a seven layer uh salad so we have uh refried beans a layer of uh, sour cream and then on top of that i used olives i cut up cilantro <laughs> i almost called it cilantro but um, my sister-in-law was calling it cilantro, so I guess that's probably what it's called. And then cheese, and then we took some of that chicken from the other dish and coated it in taco seasoning. And then corn is on there too. I soaked the olives and cilantro in lime juice and uh, put a bunch of salt on there for flavor, and it was excellent. I have actually been warming this up and eating it with chips for meals when uh, my husband's not home and it tastes so good uh, cold or warm and i've just been adding salsa on top here is one of the christmas cookie plates um, we usually send these to landlords and just family friends with a christmas card and i decided i better hurry up and make this because rhett kept eating all my pretty cookies he wouldn't eat the ones that we messed up of course but we got a few left here, so I just went ahead and threw one together. If you make these in November or early December, they freeze really well. So I've done that before. It just makes things a lot easier come Christmas. Yay! My sister-in-law had said that she has never Christmas baked before because her mom just doesn't have the patience for it, which I've never really done it with my mom either, but one of my friends um, from high school and I decided we just would start a tradition when we were in college and it was just so therapeutic to get together and talk and frost cookies and decorate them. So that's what we did for a long time actually. And uh, probably two or three years. And then we started Valentine's Day cookies too, just cause it's, it's so therapeutic. But anyway, so I was getting everything set up and my sister-in-law came over and I was getting stuff ready. And she's like, oh, you mean we're not gonna just uh, dip them in the almond bark and then put some sprinkles on them, I'm like, you have not lived. <laughs> poor, poor girl's been so deprived. But anyway, um, this is our finished product of what we get to eat. These, I had a tray that you put the sugar uh, cookie dough in, and I'm just not sure I'll do this very much. 
I might try it with uh, like cake batter. That might work out okay. They came out okay, but I don't know. They were hard to decorate. Too 3D for us. But they sure are cute. But anyway, so Merry Christmas. Hope this gave you some ideas. You have a week left. And so let those creative spirits ring, I guess. Have fun. I thought it would be fun to do a little video of what I got everybody for Christmas just to help give people ideas uh, for the press. Uh, I can't even say. For the procrastinators out there, um, hopefully this helps give you some ideas. This is for JJ. This is an Osborne book. It's about tractors and it has flaps on it. And of course, he already found it. But uh, it's just fun. He's at that age where he loves to look at flaps, um, you know, see what's under stuff. So this has been a big hit. Um, he was, some of these he's, some of these he has been playing with because he was teething really bad and three molars at one time and I was just like, I cannot take this anymore. So we had a new toy a day. <laughs> so we've kind of been doing the 12 gifts of Christmas, but, uh, we started a month early, but anyway, so now with a week till I'm just going to take it away and he'll just have to suffer for a week. Um, this is something I found at Sam's Club and it's really fun. He is really into books like this um, that you move things and you push that up and he can do it himself too so that's been kind of fun but he's getting a tractor and I knew that once he gets his tractor he's not going to care about anything else and so that's why I went ahead and did that and he's young enough whatever um, probably a bad parent now but oh well this might be a little old for him but I thought it was really cute then this is more for the next child but it's learning to count and so um and it has all the flaps and stuff and uh the pig that rolls in the mud and then this is kind of fun so the the duck um swims back and forth and then you just velcro it back down. I think I found this from Sam's Club and I was going to give it to Grandma because she doesn't really have any books. Um, Brett's mom doesn't really have any books and he's really into books right now and counting and stuff. Um, but then I decided I wanted this completely for, for Ellie. Uh, these are really cute. We have the um, Honey Bunny. It's, it's just really cute. I love you so much. Um, of course, we love the little blue truck, so there's a Christmas one. This is another Osborne book, and it has, it's a little more expensive, but my cousin was like, oh my goodness, these, the kids love these, you have to get it. And so once I got to looking at it, um, hopefully it'll be a while before we start taking those out, but um, it's a track, and then you wind up your tractor. Let me just put the phone down here in a minute, see if I can hold it. Anyway, and then it drives on the track. Her kids are much older than JJ, and she said they still play with it, so I thought it was a good investment. I didn't wind that up very much, but it's really fun. And then there's um, a truck for each season, so it's really fun. We've had a lot of fun with it already, but he'll just have to suffer for a week. And then, of course, music books. And then it's, it's kind of like a, you know, where you search for the wreath. Um, or, you know, search for different things. That's a little old for him, but uh, um, he enjoys the buttons, <laughs> of course. This is for Rhett's grandma's gift exchange. Um, we've just been doing kind of gag gifts, so it's a little bit of everything. Um, some people will have really fun ones, others uh, <laughs> junk, but I knew a few people would enjoy this. I bought it a few years ago, and then that Christmas, um, his sister give everyone gel like a gel nail pack and so I don't use regular nail polish anymore so with a few younger girls I know somebody will be really thrilled about this we were cleaning out my grandma's house and um, she passed away this last summer she had a bunch of tin cans and I thought these would be really fun especially while the kids are little <laughs> since you can't really put gifts under the tree with them um, I thought this would be a really good idea for just our family to put gifts in, so um, that's for myself. Very excited about that. And of course, this tin can smells amazing. This is for my mom. I actually saw these on Shark Tank, and they were at a craft show in this area, 
So I got one and loved it, and I just think it'll be easier for her. These mats actually kind of suction cup to the table, and so um, I know they've had at least one accident already, and I just thought this would be really helpful. But these are dishwasher safe, they go in the microwave. Um, we've been really happy. The nice thing, too, with the rubber, when uh, JJ has his fork or a spoon, and he can't get food out of the corner, he's not pushing the plate, and the food doesn't, because of this rubber, um, it doesn't just fly out, which is what we're struggling with right now. So I might have to get a few more of these just for myself. I might get a cheaper brand, but these are really, really good. Another thing for myself, my tin can here, let's see if I can get it one-handed. Um, a program for pictures. I enjoy taking pictures and the best thing I ever did was get a decent camera before I had kids and then I was able to take fun pictures all throughout but I kind of wanted a program. I don't really understand Photoshop very well and I had heard very good things about Lightroom and um, I just YouTube some tutorials and it looked like I could figure it out pretty easily so we'll see about that but anyway very very excited about that thanks for JJ I know he's probably gonna get a lot of John Deere just because that's uh, his grandma and grandpa's favorite so I went ahead and got a, a case tractor I don't want him to learn to see color and case was a little cheaper to be perfectly honest but I know once he gets this he's not gonna care about anything else and so that's why we've been enjoying the other gifts that he um, you know so he excuse me especially like the Christmas books he can get a little more use out of them this year but um, that will be the big hit. This is a lot of fun too. Um, it has some animals in there, just a little something, but um, great for young ones. This is a Melissa and Doug. I got it off of Zulily, so it was a lot cheaper, um, but it has the different locks that they can learn to use. And he plays with this. I put it in his crib a few times when he didn't want to sleep, and he played with it for quite a while. There we go. Um, this one he can't hardly figure out just yet, but, um, of course this one, you know, but I really, really recommend this. If you do like Zulily, um, it's a website, it's more for moms, but now it's kind of become for families because it's so popular. They run promos, but they only run for three days, and I always saw this, I, literally for about a year now, I had seen this, and... By the time I went to buy it, because I'd wait like a day or two, um, once you buy one thing, you get free shipping for the rest of the day. And so I always waited till there were other items that I really liked um, so that I could get free shipping on those. And by the end of the first day, this item was always gone. So finally, a few months ago, I pounced on it and got one. And um, he'll get a lot of use out of that. Ellie will get a lot of use out of that. I'm really excited. He's much bigger than me, <laughs> but this is a nightlight, and he um, will be moving out of my mom and dad's probably in the next year or so, so I thought that was kind of funny, and of course, Second Amendment, you got to get it. This is the business who made it, but anyway, there's um, that day he, he had like a two-for-one deal, and you got to pick out two um, of these little screens, but anyway, you just plug this in, and then the light, the nightlight is behind this. I thought that was kind of cool. That's exactly what you want to see if you go rob a house, right? The Second Amendment drug <laughs> item um, is a puzzle. And of course, he's really into animal sounds right now. Whoops, that didn't work. Um, so it's kind of been annoying, but he's really enjoyed it, and it's been a lot of fun. Of course, we're puzzles are just a little bit too much for him right now, so um, I thought this would help kind of get him excited about puzzles and stuff, but it's been fun. We took it to the doctor's office with us one time, and we had something to do while we waited, and it was good. It was a very good thing to take. I think I'll kind of make a habit of it, but you definitely want to have it in a Ziploc bag or something if you take it somewhere, because otherwise, um, if it kind of gets bumped around, your, your uh, diaper bag will definitely be making noises. <laughs>